lovers? How are you guys doing today? So I'm excited for this video because I have this month's box from BoxyCharm and I'm going to be doing a try on type video just testing everything out from the box and letting you know how I feel about it. Um, I was very excited for this month because I was going to I was going to subscribe to BoxyCharm. I subscribe and then unsubscribe depending on what the month's box is, you know, if I want it or not. So I was actually going to subscribe for this month's box. But a few days before the month started, the company, I believe, that works for BoxyCharm, I'm not sure if they find influencers or whatever, they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try this month's box. So they did send it to me, but this is going to be my honest opinion, and I'm. it's super cool to have a company that you have known for a while and you've um, supported and to see them reach out to you. I don't know if I, like, screamed when I got the email, but um, I am... <laughs> A BoxyCharm affiliate now or whatever so I do have a link that I'll leave in the description box that if you um, subscribe and you're a new subscriber um, I get like a five dollar bonus or something like that I don't know exactly it's something along those lines so I'll ha leave that link down below in case you guys are interested I have recommended BoxyCharm to so many of my friends and family because I truly love it like it's $21 a month and the value is always over a hundred dollars like I got a Dr. Brandt um, exfoliator from them last year which is like an $80 skincare product and I'm still using it because we only need the tiniest amount I have the Alamar cosmetics palette which they had two months ago which I subscribed for um, and I seriously love this so so much I have been down here like trying to film for like three hours but I was like watching a show and like doing my hair and then it took me forever to do my brows and then I had to make some tea and I was like, you know what, I, I need to finish this episode. I'm watching this show called Velvet. Um, it is in Spanish, English captions, but it is so good. Like, I love a good romance. Anyways, so I wanted to go ahead and use the first product from the box, which is the Adesse New York Organic infused age defying nail treatment essential sweet almond cuticle oil and this does say that It is cruelty free not to sit on animals, which I appreciate um, so I put this on my nails and I've never used a cuticle nail oil before like I don't know if I'm just supposed to have it on there for a little while and take it off I don't know if it's supposed to completely soak in like no, it's still a little bit oily and I've had it on for like 30 minutes so I, I don't know how to use a cuticle oil. I have everything on like a pamphlet, so I'll say like what the price is. My pamphlet does say that I'm supposed to have some lashes from House of Lashes and I don't have any lashes in my box. Um, it says six products and I only have five, which is fine. It's just that I seriously adore House of Lashes. They're iconic, they're boudoir. I literally wear them all the time. They're my favorite. All right, so the next product I'm going to use from the box is the Wander Beauty baggage claim gold eye mask just looks like this there are three in the box um, individual uses and they retail for $13 so it has hy hyaluronic acid which I love it's supposed to diminish the appearance of wrinkles um, and it's supposed to cool and soothe your under eye area hydrate and reduce the appearance of dark circles and care companies love to put gold on their products and literally gold does nothing for your skin at all all right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take those and throw them underneath my eye. Well, I wait for that to soak in, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow because I'm a multitasker. The next item in the box is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. I really did wanna try this palette out and I know you're probably thinking like, girl, like you talked about how you don't like Laura Lee. And I've had a change of heart recently where I'm just like, Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone's done something stupid, and I don't personally know these people. There are four mattes and two shimmers. So the two shimmer shades is this bright pink here, which looks like it has some sparkles in it, and then this purple just looks metallic. So this looks super, super cute, and I feel like this is literally the perfect size. The first color I'm going to go ahead and go in with is this green, yellowy shade right here. Perfect for transition. Also, my eyelids are stained. I'm sorry about that. I tried to cover with like a full coverage concealer and they're still there. Wouldn't say it's like a super pigmented neon yellowy highlighter green. I definitely have others of this type of shade in my collection I prefer more. It's more of a buildable shade, so 
considering this is going in boxycharm with like basically you know like a lot a lot of people trying it out and maybe not everyone likes colors that's probably a good formula next i'm going to go ahead and take damage control this really pretty blue shade and i'm just going to put that in my crease it's probably going to turn more green but it's something you kind of have to build up just a little bit Now I'm going to go ahead and take the cobalt blue shade here called um, Karaoke. Just going to tap that on my outer corner. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and take this purple shade right here called Hungover. Just going to pick a little bit of that up. Put it on my... Ooh. And... Alright, so I'm trying to pick up this purple shade um, on a brush, and it's literally not showing up at all. My pinky finger. Oh, it looks so pigmented there, but it's not showing up on the brush. And I just got it in the wrong spot. Great. And now I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of this pink sparkly shade called Bottoms Up. I'm going to tap that off. There's a lot of kickback there, and I'm just going to tap that on the inner part of my eye. Alright, I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of the dark blue shade and I'm just going to tap that on the outer corner. I'm going to go back in with some more of the purple. Just try to put it, I don't know, add more so that it'll look normal and not really weird. Okay, so my overall thoughts on the palette is that it's not the worst thing I've ever tried, but Honestly, if I were saying, like, would I go out and purchase this on my own after using it, I would say no. I like the matte shades, like this top row, I did enjoy. Um, this pink shade is okay, but it's a little bit chalky, and this purple shade feels pigmented, but it's literally horrible. Like, it's sticking to my lid so bad in weird places, it won't blend out. Now I'm going to go ahead and take off the eye mask I've had it on for a hot minute, and it did get most of my fallout which is cool so my under eyes definitely feel um a little bit more plump they feel hydrated i don't know if i can see a difference in my dark circles or lines or wrinkles or anything like that um but they, it doesn't feel bad so i'll definitely use those um up all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and use just one shade from the alamar cosmetics palette um and i'm gonna go ahead and take cafecito this brown right here just take a little touch and I'm just going to run that along the lower lash line. Then I'm going to go ahead and go back into the Laura Lee palette and I'm going to take the shade Dranks. That's an interesting name, this orange here. Just going to pick up a little bit of that and I'm going to blend that underneath. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and I just figured I'd show you since I'm doing the whole eye look on camera. I'm going to take the Ofra um, Cheeky Cheekbone Enhancer. I was sent this um, through Octoli, so they gifted this to me. But um, it's a really pretty duochrome highlighter. It's kind of got like a, crin cr a crinky, a green pinky um, flip to it. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my pencil brush. And I'm actually going to spray it just because I really like... A super intense inner corner this isn't my favorite for the face um, I find that it doesn't work for my fair skin but on the inner corner it looks really pretty and I figured with like the pink and the green tones of this look that it would be nice Ooh, so intense then next in the box is let me see my little sheet here it is the bang beauty chocolate eyeliner and it says you can use it as an eyeliner an eyeshadow base or even to touch up your brows that would probably be a really bad idea for a redhead but this retails for 22 dollars okay, so first off what i notice is that my cap is not all the way on like it's like it wasn't closed all the way it does feel more like a cream eyeshadow just from um, feeling the formula. I was honestly kind of afraid that it would be dried out because the cap was not on. 
all the way, but it isn't, which is good. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that on a little eyeliner brush and I'm going to use that for my waterline. If you guys got this in your boxy charm, you'll have to let me know how you feel about it. And then the last thing in the box, which I'm pretty excited about, is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. I had a friend who really loved these and recommended them, but I never ended up picking them up because she kind of had a different preference than me. Because um, it says non-drying. So I'm interesting to see how it'll feel. And I saw that they like had a bunch of different products um, that you could get in like the box from Smashbox. Like a, diff a couple different lipstick formulas. So I was excited about this one because... Um, it's a matte lipstick and I saw that they had metallic ones and I hate metallic lips. So this is actually pretty cool. The shade is Psychic Medium and it's like a brownie cool tone liquid, liquid lipstick shade. I don't know. I really like it. I don't think I have any shades like this. Like I have dark browns like Kylie True Brown K OG liquid matte lipstick or whatever, but that's like chocolate. This is like, well, that's like dark chocolate and this is like milk chocolate. Like it looks like I just had like a really good Hershey's bar. <laughs> My lip line is not amazing, but I actually really like this color. It's such a cool, cool toned brown. It like has like almost like a taupey undertone. Does have just a little bit of a sticky feeling, but that's like only if you really sat there and pressed your lips together. I feel like it, for the most part, it's really comfortable and it's... Yeah, it feels nice. Um, just a little bit of transfer, but I did just put it on, so I'm sure that by the time, like if I give it a minute or so, it should dry down more. So this is the finished look and the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy trying all the products on with me. Overall, I would say I'm pretty happy with this month's box. I was excited to try all the different products and I think that my favorite thing is actually this liquid lipstick. I think it's a really cool shade and I'm sure that it retails for more than the price of the box, so always a great value. I wish that the purple and the palette performed a little bit better. It's definitely one of those ugly eye looks that you cover up with lashes. That's 100% what I'm doing right now. Um, so I don't mind it, the finished look, but I definitely think that the formula could be better. Oh, I just noticed that my nails, um, the nail oil did dry down. They still feel a little bit dry, but my nails were really, really dry to begin with. Um, I have like the worst nails ever. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.